Hey everybody, it's Crafty Glamper 77. I was just 40 minutes into doing this um, video. Got a phone call, answered it, and it started my video off back at zero. So I lost it all. I am not tech savvy. I can hit record and I can hit stop. I can upload it, but I do not know how to piece or splice, whatever words they use, videos together. I can't do anything like that. I don't know how to do inserts, nothing. I was all excited into doing this <coughs> and now I just want to get it done. And nothing on you guys, but that was a little frustrating and not on her fault. She didn't know I was doing it, but technology irritates the snot out of me. But anyway, I mentioned the other day about doing a Christmas haul. Never done one, but I was binge watching Timu because I just do that all the time and I have no orders out because I'm trying to get everything paid and what we, you know, how Christmas is, budget's a little lower right now. So trying to catch up on everything from Christmas. So I gave it a break. So I've been binge watching those and it just popped up, you know, what I got for Christmas. So I watched the video and I loved it. I loved sitting there watching what they got for Christmas. I was like just as excited as they were and saw stuff that I'd never seen before that I thought was really cool. And then before I know, when I click on one, it just brought up a bunch. So evidently, and they have a lot of followers, a lot of people watching them, a lot of likes on those, which is fine if I don't, but I'm just saying that um, I always have the long way around everything before I get to my point. I'm just saying though that evidently there's a lot of people that like watching them like I do. I've really enjoyed them. I kind of stopped was watching my Timu things and was watching those because I got into the, all the different gift openings. So I thought it was really fun and cool. Thought I'd give it a shot myself, but like I said, this is round two. My back is already hurting. It was a busier day. Um, just certain meals require more. <laughs> and I was lifting a lot of heavy pans. I had huge pans like this. They're like this long, this wide and this deep of mashed potatoes. I made four and a half pans of those. Um, our tubs are this long, I mean this tall, that long, and that wide, same as the other, of green beans. You know those great big cans of green beans, they're round like this and that tall. Well, I made eight cans of those. Those pans are heavy too, so it kind of put my back on a workout, which I've had back problems ever since I had a epiderm, what is that? Epiderma? I don't know what they call that shot where you get it right in your spine when you're in labor. Um, I've had back problems ever since. So just the older I'm getting, the worse they're getting. And on days like this, which won't have those too often at work, I can really feel it when we settle down and I'm not at work and I'm starting to come home and just chill and unwind. It really starts to hurt. But anyway, I was thought I was almost done. I was going to go downstairs and sit and now I can't. So, I'm starting round two on this. Um, I'm three minutes in of yapping. I'm going to quit doing that. I did try to organize, and I will say one thing. My clothes, you will not see tags because it's me. I'm just anal about it. It's a personal thing. I cannot buy clothes and wear them. I have to wash them first. So, Christmas Day, all my clothes got washed. Um, so, they're not going to have tags, so they won't really look new. But everything here is new. This is one of my Christmas flannels, and I love it. Um, wore it at work today, so I do have one on that I'm wearing. Um, but we'll just get started. Um, I still have my cough, so bear with me. Just realizing I forgot to bring <coughs> my cough drops up. But I do have a drink. Um, I've got some tea in here. So I may take a drink every now and then. So I'm going to do that real fast. Okay, maybe that'll clear me up a bit. Um, I'll give it the kitchen gadget, gadgets. I had this on my list. It was a frother. Frother, frother, I don't really know what you call it. But I got one of these for Christmas, and I love it. It's got this real smooth silicone. I don't know, it's just really, really smooth. I love it. Um, it's really soft. But I got this. I have not used that yet. So I got me a little frother, frother. My daughter, God love her. If you watch my videos, I've talked about, my mom's got corporal tunnel. She's got, she's had it for years. She used to wear a brace that would come down to here. Um, well, I'm losing muscle or 
my strength in this hand. I can't even make a hard fist like I used to. And I've had people say, you just need to get a stress ball. That'll really help. So I might invest in that. Not really invest. I don't think they're that expensive. But something just to exercise my hand. Um, but yeah, it's I'm losing my strength in this, which is very frustrating because I drop stuff all the time. If it's there's certain things I can't even open because I can't grip it enough. And it sometimes frustrates me, frustrates me to the point I just want to cry. I'm a, I don't know about you guys, but I'm an, I'm an angry crier. If I get really peeved and mad or upset, I cry. <laughs> I don't like that I do that because I want to look mad and get my point across, you know, or whatever. But then I just start crying and then I feel like I'm not taken seriously enough. Sorry, that bounced because I put my hand down. Um... Oh, I wish I wasn't like that. But yes, I'm an angry crier and I always have been. But, oh, it just makes me so mad. That's where I was getting, though. It just makes me so mad how I'm just losing and can't do as much as I used to with that hand. But anyway, now I've talked for six minutes and everybody's probably jumped off. But I'm going to keep going. Show you guys what I got. This is what I got for Christmas. All right. My daughter got me a can opener. And... We both would highly recommend you do not buy this brand. Um, I know it sounds really bad, but I go in there and I start trying to use it and I can't operate the thing. It's not working. It's not working at all. Oh, Ashley gets up. And she's like, well, let me do it, mom. You know, of course, it's the operator. Mom doesn't know what she's doing. She's never worked a can opener before or an electric one. So I was like, okay, go ahead. She couldn't get it. She was so mad, she was ready to chuck it outside or in the back pond. Um, she's like, nope. And she goes, just throw it in the trash. I don't care what you do. And I feel bad throwing it in the trash, but it's honestly just going to sit and not be used. So this brand right here, we both would probably tell you, Home Homecraft? Yeah. Don't buy it. Don't even waste your money on it. Black Friday, I think she said she spent about $10 on Black Friday. But there's, excuse me, some things that you do buy if you buy it too cheap, you get what you paid for. And there's other things that doesn't matter if it's brand name or not brand name. And they're the same. You know what I'm saying? You'll get the same results from it. So she felt so bad. I was so mad about that. She ordered me another one that day. God love her. And she ordered this one off Amazon. It's wonderful. I love it. It works perfect. It's a Hamilton Beach. You do press this down and it's real smooth to press down. It's not hard. And you have to pull it up to release it. But you just stick it against there, and of course, this metal thing, they're actually in here instead of going over on top of your lid. They're back in here. So it'll hold it, and it goes around. But this thing right here, instead of having a sharp edge, you actually have the creased edge where you won't cut yourself, which I really like that. It does not have a knife opener on it, which is fine. Um, but it's it's really stylish, too, I think. It looks nice and sl ah, ooh. That would have landed on my cricket. Um, it's really sleek looking. I like it. It matches everything in our kitchen. So, got that. Love it. Um, I am a person that loves to get girly stuff like makeup, face stuff, shampoos, soaps. I don't care if it has to do with stuff like that. Bring it on. I love it. Well, um, husband got me these. He had a little help from our 17 year old to help him shop, you know, for the makeup which is understandable. Guys don't know what to buy on that. Well, this is contouring and bronzer. And let me tell you, I've watched YouTube tutorials and I try to do this with myself. And I love the cat eye because I think it looks very retro um, makeup. You know how they used to wear it back in the day? Just beautiful. I just love that look. Well, let me tell you, on me, it did not look retro. I look like I was just about ready to go to the circus. I look like Bobo the Clown. Either I don't blend well or I don't match my colors right. I was a hot mess. Let me tell you. It wasn't pretty. So, she's going to have to show me how to do this because evidently I can't even watch somebody else do it on tutorials and figure it out. So, that's pretty bad. But, yeah, that's me. All right, and I love... Sm oh, we'll just stick with this. I'll do my smell of goods in a minute. We'll get on the good smell stuff. Okay, I do not have a fancy routine for nighttime or in the morning, but I love this stuff right here. <clears throat> my skin is so dry and worse in the winter. When I wash my face, if I even talk, it feels like my skin is just going to crack. And it stings and burns and it gets red. So, 
I found a good set here and I love it. I love it. They're, most of my moisturizers and day creams, I'd have to like put on a second coating just to feel like it was good and soft and not still dry. But this stuff right here is amazing. First, the CeraVe, this is for dry to very dry skin because I'm, I'm very dry skin to almost extreme dry skin. It's awful. Do not like my skin. And it wasn't like this a few years ago. It's just the older I've gotten, it's like, I don't know. I don't like it though. But um, cleanses without leaving your skin feeling tight. That's the word. Not like my skin's going to crack, but it's so tight feeling. I feel like I can't move my mouth. But I know that sounds really dumb. I don't know any other way to put it though. Skin feeling tight or disrupting the skin barrier. So I wash at night. If I'm not too lazy and tired and fall asleep with my makeup on, which is a big no-no. But I do that sometimes. But this is what I'll do first. Wash off all my makeup and wash my skin with this. I do twice, kind of. Because first one, I feel like I'm just getting my makeup off good. And no matter what and how much you wipe, you're always left with a little bit of eyeliner or something on. So I always wash it like a second time. Well, at night after that, I put the Skin Renewing Night Cream, and I absolutely love it. It's almost like I can feel my skin go, <sighs> it's so soothing, and it's just the right amount of moisture I need. I don't have to do two applications of it. It's so good. I love it, but what works for one doesn't work for everybody, but I, it's definitely worth trying, I think. I've tried a bunch of stuff, and a lot of things, they didn't work, and I finally found one that did. And it is this. And then during the day, after I wash my face with that hydrating foaming cleanser, I put this on during the day. And I don't need two coats. One is enough, and it makes my feel, skin feel so soft and moisturized. doesn't feel dry at all. But I love this. This see, I have no fancy morning routine or anything. Um, that's all I do. So... With that being said, we'll go to the next thing. These are not Timu. He actually got these at Ulta. I bought some from Timu. And I want to say my mascara was my least favorite thing. It's like I thought I liked it at the first couple of times of using it. And then I didn't. It. It's just really cakey or something and dry. But he got me these. It's got the little rubbery kind of thing on there. It's cute. I love the packaging. Um, Lash Princess is the brand Essence Lash Princess. This one is Sculpted Volume, and the other one is False Lash Effect. So, yeah, I got me those two. And then I got the girls these from Timu, and he found it um, at Ulta and got me one of those Tree Hut Sugar Lips. Can you see that? My, my light ring messes up a lot of stuff. Let me not see me and focus on that. Does it do better? But it's just that scrub stuff. Oh. Ooh. It smells minty. It almost smells like toothpaste, but I like the smell of toothpaste. It's refreshing smelling. But that's what it smells like. I like that. But yeah, you know, and you get that little yucky layers of dead skin or what dry skin, whatever. Just put that on there and it makes them so soft and smooth. And then you put your moisturizer on it afterwards. Um, I love deodorant. I've never really had to wear it under here and not to get too personal. If you're a little bustier on top, um, you tend to sweat a little bit. So it does all areas just like it would your underarms. So I kind of, it helps the girls out. So I'm not so, you know, you know what I mean, right? Without me getting in detail, but my nose is itching, you guys. Sorry. <laughs> Nivea, I love that brand, and you can find it cheaper at TJ Maxx. It was $4.99. You probably pay, I don't know, seven, eight bucks at Walmart. But yeah, um, I usually buy my stuff at TJ Maxx if they have it. They don't always have it there, so I snatch it when they do. Hubby got me this, and I love it. It's white gardenia and apple blossom. That hemp is my favorite hand lotion. I like Bath and Body too, but sometimes I feel like they don't moisturize my hand enough. Unless you get the little tiny tubes and they've got like, um, they don't have aloe in them, I don't think. But I don't know, they just really creamier and feel better on your hands than the, the larger ones. But this is amazing. I love it. When I start first buying these, started first buying these, my mind goes faster than my mouth sometimes. Or my mouth goes faster than my mind. It just, between the two, they don't always keep up with each other. Got it? <laughs> okay. 
but without me sounding like I'm a cuckoo bird here, um, these years ago, a few years ago, it used to be $9.99. <coughs> they went up to $11.99. They're now $14.99 at TJ Maxx. I think Kohl's is a little bit, they're like a few dollars higher, but Kohl's is more expensive than TJ Maxx. But if they keep this up, at this rate, they're going to end up being what Kohl's is, unless Kohl's is kind of doing the same thing. Theirs is going up with their already high price, and theirs is just so, who knows, TJ Maxx may always be cheaper. I love shampoos, just like I love all bathroom girly stuff. This shampoo is amazing. From all the bleaching, all the younger years of me getting spiral perms and stuff like that, um, and using my dry, I dry my hair every day. I flat iron my hair every day. My hair is destroyed. Um, if I don't blow dry it and my hair is really thin and fine, like my mom's and the older I'm getting this, like the thinner it's getting. But if I don't blow dry it and flat iron it and just let it air dry it, it, it looks like straw and it's so dry. So when I flat iron my hair, it actually brings those oils out and makes my hair, my hair would not look have any shine to it at all if I let my hair just air dry because I have before and it's hideous but I love this stuff it's a 10 um it is a little bit pricier so I don't always buy it um I usually buy a little bit the cheaper stuff but this was $34.99 regular 50 for this um it's one liter, 33.8 fluid ounces of the shampoo and it smells amazing it's a 10 and this is, it's a 10 and the bottle is less than half and it's 17.5 fluid, fluid ounces. It's regular 60 for the same price as the shampoo, but you can see the difference. It may not look like, this is a really big fat bottle here. Okay, so that's it and they're both the same price, but it smells so good. It makes my hair softer. It's not as dry looking afterwards. There's just some shampoo and conditioners your hair likes better than others. I don't know what word to use for that. Well, this is one of them that my hair agree with, agrees with. He also got me this. I thought it was shampoo and conditioner. It does have a shampoo in it, but it's actually like an essential care thing. I did not read that and thought it was shampoo and conditioner and something else with it. And I took this to my mom's, had shampoo and no conditioner. And my hair, the way it is, I have to have conditioner. Even though my hair is thin and fine, it gets very tangly, <clears throat> easy. So I took this up there. <laughs> I used it, and luckily one of them is, here, these are all six fluid ounce bottles. You can kind of tell I use that. Um, it's really thick, so I actually had to take the lid off and hit it a few times to get it out. It doesn't really want to come out through so much of here, but my hair smelled good and felt really good after it too, so I like this. I don't know if it's chi or chai. I call it both. It just depends on what comes out of my mouth at that moment, but this is... Um, sulfate and paraben free. I don't know what paraben is, but I know sulfate free is good. Um, moisturizer sh um, therapy shampoo. And then this one is thermal protective treatment, which is good because I dry and flatter in my hair every single day. So any little extra moisturizer or anything to make it a little bit more healthy and I need. So that's nice. I ended up using this one for my conditioner. It was silk infusion. I thought, well, silk's got to be soft, right? Leave my hair smooth, which it felt good. It felt, it felt very, 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 very good afterwards. Oh my God. It felt very good when I was done using it and dried my hair afterwards. I really liked it. And my hair smelled so nice. And this ring light, I'm fighting. I feel like I'm fighting with it. Normally, I put my stuff over here and you don't see it. But I'm having to, like, turn it always sideways just for you to see the writing. How annoying. It helps. Oh, ooh, I got something over here. Maybe. Nope. Oh, well. I sit here and look like a goofball. I'm going to sit there and we're about to light the whole time. So, I'll just try to make sure I tell you what it's called. And I'll try to put it on there where you can see it good. So, there's that. This little three-pack. It was regular, and I'm only telling you I'm not worried about prices, but he left everything on there in case I didn't like something I could take it back, but, which I'm not that person that does that, but um, it was regular 28 and it's 69.9. so if there's anybody out there that would like it, they'll know what the prices are, what you're getting, and the de deodorant, I think I told you it was 4.99. okay, 
And then he got me this. I've never used it before, but I'm always griping about my hair. More or less, I'm biatching about my hair. Can't stand how dry and everything it is, but it's my own making. Um, Biotin Pro Growth Hair Care. Is that not a man that has been listening to me biatch and is trying to help me? It's either to help me or to help me shut up so he doesn't have to hear me. But either way is good, okay? So I thought it was a very thoughtful gift. So it kind of shows he's listening to me too, doesn't it? Um, this is what it looks like and I've never used it before. It's regular 20 and he got it for 9.90. No, it's regular 20 and he got it for 12.99. And it, it smells really good. I can't describe it. It smells kind of fruity with a mix of something else. And I don't know what. Maybe vanilla or something. It is not green. It's just that it's like those. It's the color of the bottle. Now, the can, the shampoo is, cr is like a thick, creamy texture in there. But that's what it looks like. Little camera light ring. You're making me mod. Um, and then the, sh the conditioner... No, I, I'm, I had it backwards. That is the conditioner, which you guys probably saw that. I was wrong because you was reading it, and I'm just sitting here jibber-jabbering. This is the shampoo. That's creamy, and this is like a gel texture. I don't know if you can see that, but they both smell really good. They smell the same, but they smell really, really good. So, I thought that was a nice, thoughtful gift. So, there's that. And I've got two favorite perfumes, Euphoria and, and there's different ones. I don't know which one it is that I use, but <clears throat> Euphoria and um, Beautiful. Beautiful I've used for years and years, and then I smelled Euphoria years ago, and I really liked it too, so I have both. Now I found one that's like right up there with those, and my husband got it for me. And I love the packaging, because I love me some Dolly. She's just beautiful. She's so pretty. And I love it when she, wore, she wears denim. I like her in denim be better than I do when she wears the leather stuff. I don't know. because I think it's because she looks more country. But she's got a little signature up there. And it goes over to this butterfly. Which, of course, and that is her decor. Her little fancy bottle is like that. There's her name and it goes up to the butterfly. But doesn't that just look like something she'd have? It's a nice size bottle. I'll tell you the ounces here in a second. Um, 1.7 ounces smells amazing but I just think the lid and everything is just it's so cute but try to make a long story short because I tend to do this rattle um he went there and they, it was behind the cage with a lot of their perfumes and that was the one out of three or four different kinds she has there was one left so he smelled it he liked it so he got somebody to come over and get it and it was a score, and I get, he asked me more than once, you sure you like that, you're not just saying it because I got it for you? No, I love it. I will not put something on me that's, that I think stinks, you know. So, I loved it. He really scored good. So, he thought he was lucky on that one. But, anyways, it was good. We, he didn't know. I'd never smell it. My daughter got me this. <clears throat> we'll move over to the games. Actually, let me get this. I had this done in my last haul with these next two things, and I was just getting to my clothes, and I had a few other things when I went, <clears throat> but anywho, because <clears throat> now I'm starting to think, okay, did I, I remember showing this, was it on this haul, or was it on that haul, but I don't think I did yet, I hope I didn't, because I'm really going to be repeating myself, oh my gosh, you guys, I don't know, if, ow, I don't know if I did this or not, if I did, I'm so sorry. I have no way of going back and checking on my video, but I don't want to miss anything. So my husband got me this because my back hurts a lot. It's my lower back, like right in the middle to, all the way to, oh, I don't know. It just hurts. But he got me this. It's regular 70. He got it for 50, and it's from TJ Maxx, so it's something you think you would like. It's a really good price. But there's that. And it has 10 powerful vibrating massage motors, 5 pre-programmed massage modes, 4 customized zone control, and soothing heat therapy. You can do it like this. You can put it on your chair. You can lay it on your floor. But one nice thing about it, and I haven't used it yet, but I'm actually going to. My back is really extra hurt, aching today. 
So when I get done, I'm going to go down there. And I was almost done with that haul. And that's all I was thinking about was going down and sitting in my recliner. Then I had to do it all over again. <sighs> anyway. Um, it's got this plastic strap. It's a stretchy thing and it goes in the back. But you can put it on your chair and wrap around the back of your chair. That strap, it'll hold it in place for you, which is really nice. It has a remote control that has your, well, <clears throat> right there. And it's got a little sleeve on the side of the bedding that um, you can just stick that right into, which is really nice. But yeah, I'm excited to use that today. So there's that. My son, we went shopping right before Christmas, him and my daughter and me. And I always seem to have one day before Christmas where I go out with the kids and we go shopping. Emmy used to go, but she's 17. She's always with her boyfriend now. So it's me back to my kiddos, which, you know, she would go with us. So it would be all of us. But now it's just me and my kids. When she gets a little older, she'll probably be back in that little thing with us and shop again, I hope. But it's a 4.2. I know they go higher, but this is perfect because a lot of times, most of the times, it's just me and David here. I'm cooking for two. So 4.2, perfect size for us. I think they go up to an eight, maybe higher. I really don't know. Um, I thought that was a really nice, thoughtful gift though, but we were going and my back was kind of hurting a little bit that day. So there's a couple of stores I didn't go in and this was one of them. It was Best Buy. I stayed in the car and he snuck this out, him and Ashley. But it's really nice. It is... Bella Pro Series brand. So here it is. It's digital, which I don't know. Maybe they all are. I haven't used it yet because I don't want it to get dirty. So I'm going to order with Timu some liners and a silicone liner for that. They have the paper ones you can put in there. So I'm wanting to get those. Oh, I've got my little... I just love these YouTube earrings that I got. I'm going to like have to find them in all colors. I really like the black because they go with everything. Um, but yeah, I love that. It wasn't even anything I was thinking about getting, but I got it and it's like, wow, that's so cool. I love it. So <clears throat> my daughter got me this Mario game. If you guys have watched my hauls, you've heard me talk about Mario, how I grew up playing Mario and stuff. And I'm still a big kid at heart because I, they bought me a Switch three Christmases ago, maybe two or three. And every game I've gotten so far, my kids have bought for me. I haven't even bought a single game yet. But, um, Super Mario Brothers Wonder is what this one's called. And I love games with levels. That's, I think that's why I like Mario so much. Which, he's just, you know, he's Mario. He's cool. But it has all kinds of levels. And in February, they're coming out with a Mario and Donkey Kong game together. And I think it's a level game, too. So, I will be investing in that one. Might end up buying my first game, but I'm totally cool with that because I love Mario. But yeah, I am i haven't finished it and I haven't went through all the levels, but I just love this game so far. It's awesome. Sister got me that. I love to read. We even got my mom some books for Christmas too. I got this Betty White one from my hubby. New York Times bestseller. It says, if you ask me, and in parentheses, and of course you won't. But there's this book. You can find these at Books a Million in different places, but they're cheaper if you get them off Amazon. But here's on some sit, sit or sitcoms. I don't know how you say that, but um, yeah. And it's got pictures in here. Of course, her with the Golden Girls, and she's talking about stuff. Um, talking about other movies she's done. This is with Jennifer Love Hewitt on the set of a Hallmark movie, The Lost Valentine. I don't think I've ever seen that movie. But it's just a bunch of stuff. It talks about her. And this is Saturday Night Live. I won't show you all of them, but I'm just giving you a gist of what, if you were interested in it. Humor. I mean, it's it's got all kinds of different titled chapters. Television. Um when she was on the Mary Tyler Moore show, and I love that show. I love any old show just about, except MASH. I know I'm going to have people out there, what? Yeah, I'm not a MASH person. Anytime I heard that music coming on when I was little and at home, I was like, oh my God, it's time to go upstairs to my room. I don't even like the music. I don't know. It's just such a boring show as a kid, and I've watched it even as an adult, and I, I feel the same way. Same way. My daughter got me, which please, Hocus Pocus and the all-new sequel. So, it's a really big book. It's going to be cool. 
So I don't quite know if it's going to be like, you know how they do movie versions? I don't know what they do. Sometimes they have two different ones of the same story, but one's like exactly how it was off the movie. I'm not really sure how this one will be, but I'm excited. Love Hocus Pocus. So yeah, excited to read that. This one was on my list as well, and it is Stephen King, Holly. I love how smooth this feels. Um, evidently, he's wrote more than one on this character. Her name was Holly Gibney. I could never let Holly Gibney go. She was supposed to be a walk-on character in Mr. Mercedes, and she just stole the book and stole my heart. Holly is all her, Stephen King. So, yeah, she must play a character in more than one of his books. But it's a nice big book. I'm excited. It's too big in there, and I don't think you guys want me reading that. Um, but, yeah, it just looks like a really good book. You can probably get online and do Stephen King Holly, and it'll tell you about the book. And you, that way you don't have to listen to me do the whole spill. My son got me this book. I love me some Willie Nelson, too. Energy Follows Thought. The Stories Behind My Songs, Willie Nelson. So it's a real big... Willie Nelson book. Um, I love the inside hardware, binder, whatever you want to call it. It's like old notes and stuff. It looks really cool. And then I'll see if I can hold this up. We'll just do a little... I have too short. I'm on my toes right now, y'all. I don't know if I can do this. I'm just way too short. Let's do it this way. I don't know. Um, there is pictures in here where he talks about different stuff. Oh, I really wish I could do this different. Here. Um, I don't know what that says from this angle, but you can always screenshot that. There's some stuff. Stories, letters, handwritten letters, concerts. Just all kinds of um, different stuff in here. So it'd be kind of cool to, to read on all that. But yeah, it's a really nice book. So I love that. Um, my husband got me some gl a little glove set. It was from TJ Maxx. Canada Weather Gear. It's got this soft stuff in here. And that's the outside. So it's like your little ear cuff kind of thing, headband. And then it comes with these gloves that are really nice long. And it's insulated just like this is. And I like it because it goes so far up here and keeps you even warmer than just ending at your wrist. A little bit past your wrist. Or if you don't like that, you can fold it down and right there's the logo. So it'll show a, a little design like it can be worn that way. Or me personally, I'm probably going to have them all the way out like this. Because it's got it here for that wear. When you fold it down, you can see it there. So that was nice. And then <clears throat> I got my first pair of Ugg boots. Um, these were from my hubby. Um, they're kind of like this suede. Is that real soft velvety material? And then you got this there. Um, I thought I saw a wrote on there somewhere. I really, oh, maybe it's back here, but you really can't see it good. And then this right here is kind of nice because I have like bedrock feet. <laughs> I don't know any other way to describe my feet. I've always called my feet bedrock feet for like from the Flintstones because I wear a seven and a half, but I have wide feet and there's no arches. I'm flat footed. So I don't know. I just say I have bedrock feet. So um, it's kind of nice that this is like that elastic stretchy. I don't know if you can see that. So when you're getting down there, it happens to be tight. It lets it give way if you're a little thicker footed, which... That would be me. So, but yeah, here, I need to do a, I don't know if I'll do it with these or what, but trying to do a thumbnail. Nope, too many with my mouth open. And see, I've already said before, I have a good side, I have a bad side. I feel like this is my better side. And I'm sure that's just all in my head, but that's what I tell myself anyways. Oh, I have a prettier side. Not so pretty side. I'm not saying I look pretty, but it just looks better than the other side. So, got my first pair of Uggs, which is really cool. They look, 
and oh, what did I tell you? They're kind of like my gloves here. They're really thick and fuzzy. They got that fuzzy stuff in there, so it's gonna keep your feet nice and toasty. I love that. <clears throat> so those are nice. I like them a lot. Now we're going to the clothes, and there's just a few, a few more things. I <clears throat> said so this was one of my shirts, my flannels. I love flannels. I'm a flannel person. He got me this one. Oh my word. I washed all my clothes because I said I'm just that person that I don't like the thought of knowing different people can try on stuff. Even if they haven't, whatever, you just don't know. I have to have my stuff washed before I wear it. So usually the day I get my stuff, I'm washing it. Well, that's what I did. But this one does have a tag. It's all bent and wrinkled and stuff because I washed and dried it that way. I cut off the other one, but I didn't know this one was in there. What a goofball. He got this from Buckles, and it's like a shacket, um, a little bit heavier than a, a flannel jacket, and I just love it. I love the Aztec, Aztec Western designs on here, Ugh. and it's got a real pretty burgundy-ish color. It just has it here, and it has it down here, and on this one, it's like right where your wrist is, but I absolutely love it. It is so soft. So soft, I, I and I love the colors. It just kind of goes with everything. So I got that. And I love my flannels, I already said that. He got me this pretty pink one. I love pink. So I got that. Croft and Borrow is the brand. I think I said the other one was from Buckle. I, does Buckle say something else in there or is that their brand? I don't even know. BKE, and I got that in a medium. And my flannels are mostly on extra large because um, they shrink so much. I normally buy them in the men's and stuff, but I think that probably was a woman's. They might have that in the men's, I don't know. Sun got me this one, and it's offline as the brand, and it says, cool down please, with a PLZ, and it's tan. But I love it because it's nice and long, and it goes perfect with my leggings. And it covers up my booty. So. Cool down, please. All right. I really don't even know what that face was. I thought I was going to do a thumbnail when I made the face. I decided, you know, no. And I love these kind of colors. I know they're kind of best for fall. But I love those colors. I really do. So I got that. The brand is George. I'm pretty sure that's men's. But I love men's flannels. They're just more roomy. And women's are shorter and tighter. I don't know why. All these women don't like to dress like that. I like my baggy stuff. Got me my Forever Dolly. And that's the name of her perfume. Scent from Above. I don't know if I told you guys that. That particular one is called Scent from Above. The Sierra Signature with the Dolly there. That's so cute. It's on this. And I just love that shirt. Now on the side, it says, oh, her name, Parton. I honestly couldn't read it looking at it from that angle. But that was one. And then my son, those that was for my husband. All those were for my husband except the cool down, please. That was from Isaac, my son. And I let this one air dry because I dried this one all the way and it still is nice and baggy, but... This one was already the size I wanted it to be, like after it was washed. So I dried it and hung it up so it's a little wrinkly. Because what I would do is put it in my dryer for a few minutes before I wore it. Just letting you know why it's wrinkled, okay? But here's my Willie Nelson. And here's the man himself. It says Willie Nelson, an American original. Yes, ma'am. But yeah, I love that shirt too. You got that... It's called Buckwear, and it's a large. So, yeah, if it was an extra large like that other one, I probably would have dried it. But that must have why, when I looked at it, it already had the size of fit that I wanted. So, I just hung it up to dry. All right. My daughter got me this. I love, love, love Norman Rockwell and e the Evening Post and Norman Rockwell. This is 2024 calendar. So, there's that. Pretty sure, I mean, he is one of the same, but I love him. Here's all the pretty pictures here. 
there is a circle right there and I do apologize, but I'll try to let you at least see um, what the pictures are. Let me see what June is. Well, let's see what January is. Cause I've had it up right after Christmas. So I had it on this one that had September, October, November, December on 23. And then that was the picture. So let's see what this month is. I haven't turned it. It's called the breakfast table. <laughs> and this is the way we all feel probably right after Christmas or I don't know, a work day, whatever. This one's called Santa's Helper 1947. God love her. Whew, she looks the way I feel a lot. I'm not even sure it has to be because of Christmas. But yeah, I think that is so cute. All right. My birthday's in June. Let's see what June is. My, mine's June 1st. My mom's is the 14th. This one's called Dugout. 1948. So that's what June looks like. Look at these people all up here. But that's cool. I don't think they're winning the game for how that looks right there. Okay, my daughter's is in April. Oh, I love this one. It's one of my favorites because they have they have it on different stuff. But I think that is so cute. I don't know the name of this one. That's so cute. This one is Soda Jerk, 1953. Okay, and now my son's and Emmy's is both in August. My son is August 6th and Emmy is August 31st. Oh, his dog. He has his dog at the vet. I've seen this one too. It's called At the Vets, 1952. But that's a cute one. He looks so worried, doesn't he? And then, um, I did April, right? Of what Ashley's was. Yeah, it was the soda bar one, the soda jerk. Did ours and my husband's. Me and mom's on the same one. Okay, so I took care of all the kids, basically. His mom is in July. So let's see what July is, David's mom is. Oh, a little update, because someone did ask, and thank you for asking. Um, it wasn't my mom's boyfriend that was doing bad, was in the hospital. It was my son, my husband's mom's companion, her boyfriend. He went from the hospital to where he's um, in the nursing home now, and he's not doing much better. He was already really tiny, and he's lost 16 pounds since he's been in there. Um, but I guess he's not eating much. He's having other problems with his muscles. He can't hold things and stuff like that. Um, like, you know, bladders and other, you know, just in general like that. His body is not working very well on that, but um, they're not legally married or anything, so she has no say in what happens with him. So, evidently someone in his family, um, they went ahead and signed the papers for him to be permanently put in there. So at this point, it doesn't really look like he's going to come home, which is sad. Um, I know she was really stressed out and worried about taking care of him. I mean, she's already having to clean up and do certain things, doctor appointments all the time. He was a farmer. He's very independent, didn't need to drive, but would drive anyway. And that really had him stressed out. So I think the first couple to few days, it was kind of like a for her and then knowing he was getting taken care of the way he needed to and someone could do it but now it's it's just sad now that he's not coming home from his patsy to you know be by herself all the time and i think over time you know she'll start to feel lonely if she isn't already so um but yeah thank you on the thoughts and prayers and asking but it wasn't my mom's boyfriend it was my husband's mom's boyfriend slash companion. I don't know what people really call it, but anywho, thank you for, for asking about him. That was very sweet and thoughtful that you even remembered. So, um, the other thing I got was a little, I don't even like, I wish they would call these something different. When I hear the word fanny pack, I'm like, ew, no, but yes, <laughs> I got a little Michael Kors one. I think it was I don't know, 40 or 39.99, something like that, 29.99. It um no, it wasn't. It was 24.99, I think. I'm trying to remember. From TJ Maxx. I think maybe I don't know what its regular price was. But it is a fanny pack. It's really soft and smooth the belt that goes around. 
but I like it. It's not real big and bulky. So if you're wearing a jacket or it's the winter or fall, you can just put your coat over it. Nobody gonna see that. But um, I got the color that goes with everything. I would always want probably brown or black. I do like pink sometimes, but um, yeah, I got that. And it's really soft, soft inside. It's got this little itty bitty pocket. If you wanna put your license or whatever, you know, in that spot. But yeah, I got a fanny pack and it's got, it's an adjustable thing. But I, I don't like the word fanny pack. I just really don't. It makes me think of kind of a nerdy cheesy thing, but fanny packs are coming back y'all. That's not why I got that, but they're actually coming back. Cause I thought I can hide this. <laughs> I can hide it with my jacket and my coat. But now when I went down to mom's, we didn't get to see each other for our birthday. We didn't get to see each other. Well, we did, not really, for Christmas either, just a few days after Christmas. So we did our Christmas down there, but she had a birthday card. Excuse me, I hope y'all did not hear that. Excuse me again, just in case you did. Um, she got me a birthday card. Just says Amanda, happy birthday. I keep all my cards. Is there anybody else there like that? I will date a card and keep it. My mom, and I guess I do it because my mom did it. Um, she's got birthday cards from when I turned a year old. I mean, she's kept them. But I thought it was sweet. And mom is a person, and she did not do it with this one, but I think my Christmas card she did, and I do this because of her. She goes usually goes through and underlines all the words that she's stressing, wants to stress the most on. But it was really pretty, and she signed it, Daughter XO, and she said, always remember this. And look, I don't have to date that when it's done, but Mom wrote, always remember this for what it said. It says, that's why I want to make your birthday as incredible happy as all these days, all those days you've made for me. So let me put my arms around you. Let me celebrate you with all my heart, my friend, my love, my one and only, and she wrote, Daughter, because um, I am an only child, XO, and she said, always remember this. Um, oh, she did. She just didn't do it inside. So I don't know if you can see where certain words that she's wanted to stress, but that mom has always done that. It says, today I celebrate you with all my heart. Sorry if you don't want to hear this, but I kind of want to read it again. My friend, my love, my one and only daughter, the small that brightens, the smile that brightens my day, the small hand Probably her thinking back when I was little. She wrote small on there. The small hand that feels so right in mine. The number I love seeing on my phone. Because we don't get to see each other as much as we want. We do texting and calling. The voice I can't wait to hear. You brought so much happiness and love to this life. We share and you're with me everywhere I go. Always on my mind and always in my heart. So mom got me that. No, I'm not crying. <laughs> um... And then she, I love Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby and TJ Maxx are like my favorite stores. And I'm a Dollar Tree person. I love Dollar Tree. So she got me a $50 Hobby Lobby card. Cute, because I like the truck. I know some people diss the truck all the time, but I like the little truck. It's a little country truck. That's why I like it, because it's country. So I got that for mom. And then she got me this Christmas card. I love gnomes. It says a cute card. It says gnome for the holidays. And it's got the gnome on there. His little mushroom house. Got the little fox. But thought that was really cute. Oh, shoot. I did that again. Okay. This says, I hope your Christmas is merry and bright and know me. Mom wrote, and know me. Love you bunches. Mom. And I don't have, she knows we keep them. And she's always keeping hers and dates them. So she automatically, I guess, did mine. I didn't really notice she did that. I bet she's got it on all my cards. And then I rewrote it again on the back of the card. So I got that for Christmas. She got me another Hobby Lobby card. And this one is the blue truck. And it was for 50. So I got a total of 100 for my mom for Hobby Lobby. Haven't even spent them yet. And then she got me a $50 one for the Dollar Tree. So yeah, that was really sweet. She got me too much. She did too much. So, that was it on the gifts, but I wanted to show this. I mean, it might not be cool to you guys, but it was me being there and seeing it all was even neater. You know, they have the cotton in South Carolina, and the cotton fields are everywhere. Well, me and my husband went on this little back road 
um, where her boyfriend Scott wanted us to drive so he could show me around. So David took me in the truck and they had already rolled the cotton fields down. They were taking them, but there was cotton left everywhere. It seems like there's so much waste that it's on the roads, it's on in the field, but I wanted some. So I have a little bit of my mom's home and my home here with me. So, but he got me some, I, at first I just got what I saw on the road. I jumped out and it was kind of all dirty. And then we went around this thing. And it was a huge cotton field. I was like, I want that. <laughs> There's no dirt on it. So he parked it and it was really kind of muddy and stuff. So he went out there and he broke me off a few pieces, but it's so soft. And there's little cotton knots inside of them too. So I told David, I'm almost curious of how they do this. Um, I guarantee you can probably find a YouTube haul or everything's a haul in my world. A YouTube video that'll show you how they process this and like break it down, you know, in the steps. So I think that'd be cool to see. But yeah, you can't see it, I'm sure. But there's little hard cotton ball knots in there. But I don't know. I thought it was really cool to have. And like I said, I got a little bit of where my mom's at here with me. So... My husband did get me a hair dryer from, it's almost like it was really short and round, the, the head, the neck part, or whatever you want to call it, not the handle, but the other part. It almost looked like a knockoff of like the Dyson. Well, he bought it for me, and I, kid, I can't show you the video. Okay, I am done, so if nobody wants to hear my little spill, I'm just rattling at the end of my video. You know, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and if you're on my channel or a subscriber, thank you so much for your support. I don't gain anything from it. I, I'm not sponsored on anything I do. I just do it for fun and I like interacting, you know, and making friends on here, which is really cool. I enjoy reading the comments too, so feel free to leave comments. But yeah, I'm done with my, what I got for Christmas. So thank you so much and have a blessed day. For the ones that are staying on here for my little ramble, I almost forgot. I actually think I forgot what I was saying. Oh my gosh, that's another thing with me getting older. I'm so left field. If I don't just say what I'm going to say, I will forget. I'm very bad at interrupting and always have been because if someone's talking to me and I don't say what I'm thinking about that second about something maybe they're talking about and I wait patiently for them to be done. It's like, well, what did, what, what was you going to say? I have no idea. You should have let me tell you just a few minutes ago and I would have been able to remember it. I said, but now it's out the window. I'm so bad for that. So I'm really bad for interrupting because I don't want to forget what I got to say. But um, I really don't know where I was going with that. But um, I did have a great time at mom's. Um, it was fun. We were gone for five days, but let me see. We left Saturday after Christmas, early morning. Ashley's third shift where she works. So she came here and my husband drove, and so Saturday, we got there Saturday around 8, 30, 9 o'clock, I'm not sure, because you have to stop, got to eat, got to walk the dog, so what well, usually probably could take a 10-hour trip or around where we're at ends up being like 12 or so, so that day's pretty gone, pretty well gone. We had Sunday, we had Monday, and we were going to leave Tuesday, but um, my husband called home and found out also in that conversation he didn't have to work. So my Christmas present, seeing my mom, got extended another day, which was great. Mom was excited, and I was too. Um, so we got to stay another night. So we stayed Saturday night, Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday night. Well, it was going to be three nights. We stayed four, and we left Wednesday and came home. So, yes, it was a great visit. I don't know why I sit there and try to do the time frame like that. Nobody cares about that. They just want you to get to the point. But I have a long way around before I get to the point. So, anyway, I hope you guys had a great Christmas. I hope your work week is going well. Um, and I think I'm done with this. And if I get views, that's great. If I don't, that's okay. Um, I have still had fun getting on here and showing you, even though this is my second time trying to do this. But, yeah. All right, and it took me some medicine earlier, which really seemed to help. I'm not sitting here coughing and hacking in the hall either, or the video. So, I swear to goodness, everything's a haul to me, because it's what I mainly do. But I think it'd be fun to venture out and do some different stuff. Um, I've got the gift card for Mom for the Dollar Tree. I'll have a haul with that. I've got the gift cards for Hobby Lobby, so I'll do a haul with that. And when I get my 
and I pay my Timus, unless they've been really small, through Klarna's, my big ones I pay through Klarna's, that every two weeks you pay for um, um, two months, so it's like every two weeks, yeah, four payments every two weeks, so it ends up being the two months, and there's no interest. There is a firm after pay zip, there's all kinds of them out there. Some even are once a month, but I think if you pick that, it might have interest on it, but um, all right. Enough of me rambling. I'm sorry. I have no idea what I was going to tell you at the very beginning when I started this because I wanted to tell everybody bye so they wouldn't hear me ramble. And then what I was going to ramble about went out the window. Guarantee when I hit stop, I'll remember. <laughs> but oh well, that's the way my brain works. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. Feel free to leave comments. Like if you want. Um, if you want to subscribe, that's great. I don't personally push that. I probably can count on my hands out of all my videos that I've ever talked about subscribing to my channel. It's fine if you don't. Um, I'm not sponsored. I benefit nothing out of it just besides enjoying doing them and having fun and reading everybody's nice comments. So, all right, everybody have a blessed day. It's Wednesday, right? Is it Wednesday? It's hump day. We've only got two more days, so we're halfway there if you don't have to work the weekend. And, um, all right. We'll see you guys later. Have a blessed night and thank you again so much for watching. All right. Bye.